Hello, moderator and every participant. Uh, my name is Dr. Lassisi Kayode Azan from the Institute of Urban Environment, Chinese Academy of Sciences, Xiamen City, China. Today, I'll be presenting on biogas potential assessment of cow dung and poultry dropping induced electrolytically in an anaerobic digestion condition. The outlook of the International Energy Agency, they estimated that the world energy production rates based on fossil fuel will become double of the current consumption by year 2040. And anaerobic digestion, as we know, has unique advantage of being eco-friendly and energy efficient over other form of power energy. Some techniques have been used to enhance anaerobic digestion process of organic waste, such as microbial and bioelectrochemical electrolysis, co-digestion of organic waste, waste pretreatment, addition of nanoscale, valent ion, and so on. But among all these processes, bioelectrochemical electrolysis seems to hold the greatest potential of improving the economy of AD in decomposing organic solid waste and other waste substrates. The objective of this study are in three parts. First is to assess the biogas seed of cow dung and poultry dropping when electrolytically induced with carbon electrode in an AD system. Second is to determine the characteristic property of the cow dung, poultry dropping, and waste water used in, an in the analysis. And the third is to statically fit the biogas yield and the raw percentage cumulative yield produced. The experiment is in five stages. The first is the acquisition of material and equipment. Then the second is the fabrication of the digester. The third is the preparation of feedstock. The fourth is setting up of experimental workspace. And the fifth, which is the data collection and analysis. This is the type of experimental setup of the four digesters that were built, uh, which was incorporated with the electrolysis analysis. Other consideration the experimental processes include the place where the waste were collected, the cow dung, the poultry dropping, and the waste water. It was collected from a mini abattoir and from the teaching and research farm of the Federal University of Technology, Akure, which is located in Nigeria. And after the waste were collected, they were preserved in a polythene bag to preserve their freshness, to maintain their moisture content. And the digesters that were fabricated, they are the composition of waste, the condition of the waste, and the composition of the waste is given in table one. And as we can see, that is in different condition, the partly inoculated ones and the fully inoculated ones. And they are, we have the controlled digester and the electrolytically induced digesters. The result of the waste analysis shows that uh, the, the importance parameters are the one highlighted in red, which is the moisture content, the temperature, the pH, the total solid, the volatile solid, the carbon to nitrogen ratio, and other elements. We can see from this that uh, the, the, there is no significant difference in total solid and volatile solid of the cow dung and the poultry dung, uh, poultry droppings, although their values are higher than that of the inoculum because of the constraint of uh, the uh, poultry uh, of the wastewater. And also, the carbon to nitrogen ratio of the poultry dung is higher than that of the uh, cow dung, of, of the poultry dropping, but uh, it's higher than that of the cow dung by difference of approximately two. And this is based basically on the nutrients of the, 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 the nutrition uh, of the poultry dropping, which contains more of nitrogen. The, this is the daily biogas produced in digester A to D. Uh, for 40 days retention period. And as we can see that the highest biogas yield was achieved on uh, for the, the that's for the electrolyzed digester, uh, which contained the protein dropping or was achieved peaked average at 0.050 uh, meter cube per kilogram between retention period of 15 and 20. And to be specific, the highest yield was 0.052, which was achieved on day 17. And you can see that there was a rapid rise. This rapid rise uh, at the start from around day five to uh, day 15, 17, close to uh, day 17 until it started dropping. And we can see that this was uh, really uh, activated by the inoculum, that's the wastewater, which was which served as starter to help the microorganism to feed on the, on the waste and to quickly generate gas. And but after that, it began to decline. And we can see that the biogas production stopped at day 34 and 35. The effect of the pH was checked also uh, during the period of the retention. And the pH fluctuated all through 
all true, but within the range of 4.4 to 7.2 and 4.8 to 7.5. But uh, during the formation of the of the uh, of the uh, the composition process, the digester, the waste in digester maintain more of acidic uh, nature. And this is caused by, because the acid forming bacteria breaks the feedstock using the produced volatile fatty acid, thus bringing the value of the pH to four below neutral. And also a further increase in the pH value of the carbon, uh, of the cow dung in the electrolytically induced digester indicates the presence of maintained forming bacteria, which is called methanogenic bacteria. The temperature effect also was checked on the digesters uh, for the 40 days retention period. And we know, as we know that the temperature largely depend on the weather condition for the, each day. So, but there was consistency uh, in, and there was a temperature range of uh, during the retention period of from 24 to 32 degrees centigrade and from 23 to 33 degrees centigrade, both in the control and electrolytically induced digesters. And we can see that uh, as also we can, from, Previous there are different phases of temperature. We have the mesophilic, the thermophilic, and but for this condition, it operates more in the mesophilic uh, thermal stage of biogas production. This is the uh, cumulative volume of biogas that was produced, which was fitted using uh, the origin software, and also uh, the, there was a model used called Gomtem's kinetic model to fit the experimental data. And this was done, uh, this is the outcome of it, the modified content model parameter of the control and the electrolyze. And as we can see for both the cow dung and the poultry dropping, the lag phase of digester A was less than that of digester D. Uh, because uh, the, lag, the difference in the lag was barely up to one day for digester C and D. If you look at it, we have 6.4 uh, for lag day of C and 7.2 for lag day of D. So it's, it's barely up to one day. Uh, of, of for both digesters and they have value of 6.4 and 7.2. Whereas the simulated value data using that GOMTEMS model improved the half square value from 0.9812 in digester A to 0.9928 in digester D. And this reveals the suitability of the model in describing the daily biogas seed as a function of digestion period. Also, we can see the analysis of biogas constituent in all the digesters from digester A to digester D. And we can see that biogas composes more of methane and carbon uh, the four oxide. Uh, we have other elements like hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide, but for the uh, carbon, the methane for uh, the, the, in the four digesters, we have digester D produced more methane, uh, which is the uh, electrically induced poultry dropping it produced more methane than the other digesters. And also we have the carbon dioxide also produced, uh, which was more in digester B. And also we have other components like the hydrogen and the hydrogen sulfide. In conclusion, we have seen from this study that the poultry dropping show great potential in biogas seed compared to, carb to the cow dung, both in the control and electrolytically induced digesters. The induced digester yielded additional 7% increase in cumulative volume of biogas generated from poultry dung than uh, poultry dropping than cow dung. Also, the introduction of electrolysis process activated rapidly the growth and quick metabolic process of the methanogenic microorganism, which was acting, which was decomposing the waste during the decomposition process. And this further helped the stabilization of the digester pH, resulting from improved ion balance. In overall, the cumulative yield and biogas yield with digester D containing the induced poultry dropping waste half the best half square of 0 0.9928. And also we can see that this process of electrolytical induced AD provide great and easy to implement platform for reproducibility and enhancement. And this is very, very important in research because if a work cannot be produced, then reproduced, then uh, it's not really uh, thorough enough to be called a research. Uh, quickly, I would like to acknowledge uh, the Academy of Excellence in Bioscience for supporting registration. Thank you very much for your attention.